Let's take a look at analyzing malware. So you could set up a computer called a sheep dip computer. Uh, this is basically a computer whose sole job is to live there so that we can analyze incoming messages or files for malware. Um, and it will have all sorts of port monitors, file monitors, network monitors, and antivirus software on it to tell you. Uh, so these are in a strictly controlled uh, environment with strictly controlled connections to the network. And their whole purpose there is to um, just check something. Let's put it on the sheep dip computer to make sure that this file that we got is actually clean. You can have antivirus sensor systems. So these are, this is software that identifies and analyzes malicious code threats. It's used in conjunction with sheep dip computers. So these are not just like AVG or Avast or something. These are uh, meant specifically to analyze whole things um, and see whether or not they're clean, not, not just an antivirus alone. Um, if you're going to do malware analysis, you would prepare your sheep dip or your test bed, because you can also actually reverse engineer uh, malware. Um, now, this is, takes some programming skill, um, but you should just be aware of it. You create an isolated system. You disable things like shared folders, and, and uh, you, you put the malware on the guest OS. And then you can use various tools to take a look at that malware. So some things you might do is you'll, you could perform um, static analysis. In other words, the malware is just sitting there as a file. You could uh, deconstruct it a bit, try to find strings in it that might point to pathways. You could try compressing, decompressing the package. You could set up a network connection, um, and you could actually just run the virus and just watch what it does, monitor its process uh, actions, monitor, monitor its system calls. You could record network traffic that's happening. Uh, you could determine which files have been added, or, or which processes have been spawned, or which registry ch changes have been made. And you collect information on requests to services, or DNS, or incoming or outgoing connection attempts. There are many malware analysis services, including many that are available online. And you can go to them, and you can upload stuff, and you can engage them to check files to see um, if these look like they're malicious in any way. So you can have things that will analyze for trojans, for viruses, and for worms. These are just a few of the tools that you can use. It's not expected that you as an ethical hacker will necessarily be a programmer or that you will be reverse engineering malware. But you should be aware that these capabilities do exist.